Do you know why we brought you in here today? Our sources place you at the incident that occurred on November the 23rd. Does that date sound any familiar? Yeah. Yes, sir. If you ask me, that guy got what he was coming. And by that guy, you mean Kyle Stoley, right? That's right. That lousy, no good critic causing problems everywhere he goes. So you've met this man before? Yes. It was like any other day on the job until I noticed these two guys were arguing over the what movie they wanted to see. Man, I can't believe all the tickets are sold out already. This is all your fault. My fault? How so? Well, if you hadn't made us off by the gas station to grab snacks, we could have gone here earlier and had seats. Look, man, I was trying to save you money. And besides, I didn't hear you complaining when you were stuffing your face full of Doritos. All right, fair enough. What are we watching then? Please don't say Space, space Flight 3. Th Bro, come on, it looks so fun in the trailers. Come on, the first two were so bad, I almost hurled. And what's with Hollywood and pumping out all of these sequels and reboots anyways? Does no one have an original idea anymore? You're actually such a snob. Just watch it with me, it'll be fun, okay? I didn't think any of it. You hear things like that all the time working there. So later on, I just finished cleaning out the bathroom when I hear a loud bang. I looked over and saw the same guy storming out the movie theater. Dislike your working conditions and you quit. That whole place is disgusting. The people disgust me. <sighs> I couldn't take it anymore. Then you started working at a college, correct? Yeah, that was a mistake. I saw that disgusting man again. I wanted to just, just do something. But I stopped myself. Do something? Do what exactly? Something. I just want to make them feel like how I felt. All right. Then what happened? Just the sight of that man was sickening. Consistency, the texture, oh, the smell. The smell was vile. You just sat there like nothing happened. That little shit pissed me off. What the hell is wrong with you, huh? Come down. You got angry because you had to clean up his vomit again. Isn't that part of your job? No. This time... This time it was different. It wasn't what I intended. What do you mean it wasn't what you intended? He wasn't supposed to throw up again. He was supposed to die. What? When he sat down beside me, I was able to get him distracted, just long enough to poison his food.
His body rejected the poison, allowing him to live. So let me get this straight. You tried to kill a man because you had to do your job? Well, you try and be the janitor then. The feces, the urine, and the vomit we deal on a daily basis. It's disgusting. Not to mention, we're looked at from the bottom of the bottom. There's no respect as a janitor in the surreal world. We're treated like the garbage we spent our daily lives putting away. Do you know how many girls ghosted me on Tinder after I told her I was a janitor? Do you? You're still the one that chose the job though. If you don't like it, just quit. Whatever, I knew you wouldn't be able to understand. You and everyone else with a cushy life, you all deserve to have suffered as much as I have. You don't know a thing about anyone else. Everyone suffers, but even still, even the most respected people are not respected because of their occupation. It's because of how they choose to look at life and deal with suffering. There are people out there that will make suffering worse. I can't imagine what it's like getting ghosted on Tinder after telling a girl my job, but that doesn't excuse your actions. There are people out there with terrible lives, yet they do everything in their power to make things better for themselves and everyone around them. It doesn't matter if those people are janitors or CEOs, they are respected. But the people who choose to add to the suffering and make the situation worse? People like that make me sick. Come on, not after all that. Yeah.